time, Peter's running away from Diddy. He's got slow air speed. A lot of times, like, Sonic isn't very threatened by it. As yeah, long yeah, as yeah. Sonic stays out of, like, his zone. I feel like Sonic's a good character at trading, too. Like, if you just get, like, he let's is, say a random is, side yeah. B or something like that, even if he hits you with the fair right afterwards in, like, the lag, you're still trading damage. When you're up a stock, that's great. If you trade a Sonic, you're knocked into the air, and Sonic's probably going to be in the air, too, but Sonic already is always in the air after trying right. to punt it, after trying to hit you because you're spin dashing into them and then going up. Like and that, I like that yeah. F-Smash idea. because It didn't yeah. land, but it was, like, it hypothetically covered almost every option there. Goof's always done pretty well against low one because <sighs> Goof is, uh... Probably one of the more patient players as a, as a Sonic player. You yes. kind of have to be. So a lot more prepared for how low one can play. I know Hex felt really annoyed fighting low one. Yeah. It was his, fir it was his first time, though. Who won and, that? Uh, low one. Okay. It was, it, was pretty, it, it was pretty dominant, but I know Hex felt very tilted, which, which gotcha. happens with yeah. uh, low. Low Ooh. is definitely the player that makes me feel s more stupid than stupid, anyone yeah, else. Yeah. It doesn't matter when I played him. As soon as I feel like I'm doing well against him, I'm already losing. Yep. And I like how Goof is using oh the banana, God. too. Try to, what the heck? He's not Back forced. Air. Ooh, good bear. Good bear, yeah. Perfect timing. Jump getup is kind of broken this game, honestly. Goof's very good at catching it of just a backer. Just yeah. straight up back. I've seen it, like, multiple times. Yeah, that's definitely one of Goof's strengths. Is like, his bear usage, even compared to, like, a lot of the other good socks, he knows exactly when to go for it. Right, right. Because I feel like a lot of the other good ones, including, like, Seagull Joe sometimes, will just kind of, like, force bears. Goof just kind of has a good understanding of when to use his options, and mm -hmm. when to play patiently, always. Yep. <laughs> Winning, losing. I mean, that's both of these players right here. Yeah, yeah. Goof's just up a game right now on low one, casually. Yeah. We're already in winner's quarters? Yeah. What the heck? There's 24 people. I see. Oh, I thought same as last week, and they we need got <laughs> Gucci to enter. <laughs> Gucci and Dre. Yeah. yeah. The king, well, king, Dre enters sometimes. He just, sometimes. yeah, I mean, coming off a of third place last week. Oh, my God. Definitely Was that last that, week? Yeah, oh my gosh. yeah, I think so. I don't actually know. Ooh, and I love that patience. And that's oh, what wow. I I've there. seen Goof sure. do a lot more lately, too. And he'll do, like, a slow one. And you're so conditioned already by all the Sonics, including him, doing every other kind of, like, a quick option, mm -hmm. that he just slows there. And then he just does something, like, on the ground, you know? Yeah, yeah. But right now, Low with a considerable yeah, lead. Yeah, hey, Low just got gimped pretty early. I'm trying to go. Oh, that's... Goof's really good at punishing, like, little overextensions. Like, I a lot agree. Of, like, if someone does a random smash attack read, a lot of people will just kind of back off like this, don't want to deal with it, reset. Goof will, like, go for the punishes and, yes. uh, and get a grab combo. His micro spacing has always been strong as a player. Mm. Oh, my God. You got to go for it at that point. You're like, safe. Yeah, that was one of those weird side pieces that you just oh. felt like something was going to happen afterwards. Yep. I've seen, like, Ixus Nagus, the Ixus, European yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. He's really good at getting weird strings off, like, that mid-percent um, side B. It can link uh -huh. and stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Lowe's kind of flubbing today. They're, they're, they're talking about it. They're laughing. Yeah. I feel like when Lowe does that, he's not tilted, but he's definitely, like, he's not in his zone, though. So I feel like that definitely led to him losing sometimes a little bit more until oh. it's last hit, though. If it's last hit, Lowe will usually win. Yeah, I agree. Low is definitely one of the hardest people to finish against. That's I think he's the best unreal. possibly it's in the state of understanding how to avoid the win condition. Yeah, and then get a kill. I, he's probably the best player I've ever played at that, honestly. I think that's the number one thing I would just recommend people in general to try and improve at, is understand oh. what your opponent's win condition is and just staying out of it. Yep. Definitely the grappler mindset, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good, good area of pressure. Oh, so down. they're just fairing him across the stage. Yeah, super good. Sonic doesn't really have that many disjoints. They're like okay. Oof. It's more of like a lot of quick um, stuff. Okay, good stage prep. Yeah, like the way to beat Sonic is at this level, and all levels really, but like it gets harder as you go up against the, like how good the Sonic is. Mm -hmm. Just keeping stage presence. Like, I keeping, agree. And keeping them off stage. It's when you respect them too much. Yep. And then you let them have free reign over the stage. Then you start overextending and getting into Sonic Zone and yep. then Sonic just destroys you. You really have to balance out like how much you pressure them and how much you don't overextend. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that shield pressure. I was about to say, <laughs> no, low one is angling a shield, I think. Which is really good against Sonic because if you angle it a certain way, you can drop shield faster after they spin dash your shield, and you can get like an up air punish or something. I have a lot of respect for people who can intentionally angle their shield without like rolling. Dude, I didn't it's know. So hard. I just, I thought there was no purpose to it until about a year and a half ago. Smasher told me that you, what sh a shield poke was. Yeah. I didn't know what shield poking was until <laughs> he told me, like only about a year ago. Okay. Uh oh, that might be it. Oh my well, god! I wasn't wrong. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. We, we wanted it. We, we were anticipating an up air just from the wrong person. 
Dude, I thought she messaged me and it was, uh, it was Justin. It was a message. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Eat oh beans. my god, dude. That, sh that scared the hell out of me. Oh, man. Okay, okay. but. Um, Game three. Yeah, so, we, you know, I always think that's um, one of the weird things. Is there's like a lot of characters. I wouldn't always use their near to escape moves, but like, did he, for example, could just use his off area? Air a lot of characters can use off air, yeah, yeah. Low key, but people naturally, like, just kind of cling to their near. Nair is usually better because it covers it more horizontal space. So you, so, because you're falling on top of them, so you want to cover horizontally, not vertically. Right. But that's why Clouds is so good because it mm. covers both. <laughs> All right, I'm predicting literally just two minutes of just BSing yeah, around it's here. Yeah, <laughs> it's very possible. I think both of them, I don't feel like Low is playing exactly in the zone right now, so this is where he takes things extra slow. Exactly, yeah. Because if he's not flubbing or not playing at like 100% of like the tempo or pace he's wanting, he's going to eventually try and outweigh you. But this is what like the, the one person he might not be able to do so yeah, to. Yeah, this is, yeah, if this was me, I definitely would have approached low by now. Oh, I would too. So what, yeah, like I feel like, not talk about myself too much in these kinds of games, yeah, but I feel like a lot of people will just like, when they're in these stalemates, they won't, they're like, okay, I'm not going to really overcommit, but I want to try and like, bait them to something, try to get a hook, but they're not going to fall. Someone like Lowe has been in those like stalemates so many times, yeah. they're not going to fall for little baits and they might punish you for it. Mm -hmm. Whatever your burst options that you think is a good oh, idea. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. This is... I think it, every set has set. had so many flaws. Yeah, every first stock of every game has been an SD. Very unfortunate. Unfor yeah, this is this is really hard. And now it's like the reverse, because like, like oh, we said, no, Blue, Diddy, like, yeah. Sonic is so good against Diddy, but at this point, it's like the same not problem. Not here, yeah. What does Sonic do to oh, approach, God. honestly? Yeah. You have to overcommit, and Diddy has the stage control, and just he can just try and trade with them, just yeah. the same way that Sonic would, and both of them are great traders. So. Yep. And even if Lo gets hit right now without any rage, Sonic doesn't know too much, but... Well, or Goop's doing all right. Winning Goop's a lot of interactions turning it right, up now. right now. I do like seeing Goop... Oh, what? I hate that there. That, that there makes me angry. It's so, it's so quick, and it has no, like, weak oh. spot. That there is... Oh my god, that yeah. makes me so... <laughs>